then we will go ahead. Sir, how do we remember all the form, floral Actually, formula? You have to remember the um, this one. Uh, floral formula, you have to look what you have to remember. From floral formula, you will get most of the information of the family. Right? Floral formula. Then you have to remember only those points which I have written over here. In this part, there is no other way. There, you have to cram the floral formula and floral diagram. You have to cram. There is no other technique. But uh just cramming is a different thing and uh, you you have understood each and every concept that what does it mean by gamma what is vexillary estivation what is diadal first you have got the meaning of all these apart right so you have to uh, cram it after understanding it but there is no other other option right and always you have to remember even i have to do that right so yes, let me sir. Did we cover all these families? Yes. Did we cover no, all sir. these families? No. So uh, we have covered uh, this one, Fabesi. Yes, sir. Only Fabesi. Okay. Yes, sir. Fine. So Solenesi. Fine. So next family is Solenesi. Right. This is the next family. So uh, try to understand. Uh, in Solenesi, Solenesi is the easiest family, you know. This is the easiest family and uh, it's easy to remember all these things. Simple. This is called family of potato, right? Or family of vegetable. So it is called family of potato or family of vegetable. And uh, the plural formula is that is actinomorphic. Actinomorphic means there will be radial symmetry, right? Any line which is passing through the center can cut this flower into two equal parts, right? So that is radially symmetric. So this is actinomorphic, bisexual. Bisexual means both of the sex. These are the stamen and these are the, oh, this is the ovary. So both are male and female part, androsium and gynosium, both are present. So this is the bisexual, right? Calyx 5, outer part, this green color, calyx 5, and they are united calyx. They are jointed, their margins are fused. So calyx 5 gamma. Again, corolla, these are the corolla. Corolla are again, you can see corolla are again united right they are joined so corolla five and they are gamma and rusium how many androsium one two three four five and rusium five but they are not united they are not joined right so we have not uh, put the bracket for the gamma right but now there is a one different thing what is one different thing that here the these these androsium these androsium are jointed with look this is the line this line represent that androsium are means stamens are fused with petal right so what is that we will draw this red color line and this is this is called epipetalus epipetalus if this line is drawn this red color line if it is drawn we will read it epipetalus that androsium and stamens are attached to each other petals right attached to androsium or stamen are attached to petals right so androsium five and epipetalus gynosium Two gamo, two gamo. So look, there are two gynosia. Pink color structure, this is structure and this structure. There are two, uh, um, uh, two ovary and both are fused. So gynosium, two gamo, but ovary superior from the floral formula, you cannot, uh, uh, you can't know that uh, you won't get this information that this is the ovary superior or ovary inferior. That you have to remember. So actinomorphic, bisexual, calyx 5, corolla 5, gamo, androsium 5, epipetalus, gynosium, two gamo, ovary superior. Right, that is the plural formula. It is called family of potato, family of vegetable, because most of the uh, vegetables belong to this family only. Right. Again, fruit, we call the fruit berry or capsule. Placentation, from here it is uh, represented that from floral <coughs> diagram you can tell. This is exile placentation. Economic importance, economic importance, there is a food. So what is the food? Tomato, potato, brinjal in spices chili in medicine belladonna ashwagandha <clears throat> belladonna is used for some uh, injury and uh, external injury ashwagandha it is used for the blood pressure and all that tobacco tobacco you know <clears throat> tobacco is not medicinal plant this is used for the as a drugs right petunia this is ornamental plant so you have to remember this thing only <clears throat> go through with it and tell me if you have any doubt
Then what does the first symbol represent in the floral diagram? Actinomorphic. This one. This one. Actinomorphic. Yes, sir. Actinomorphic means this is radial symmetry. In last family look, in last family we studied in Fabaceae, the symbol was zygomorphic. This symbol is called, this percentage symbol is called zygomorphic. It represents bilateral symmetry. Look, here you can divide this family into, this, this uh, plant into two equal parts. If you draw a line from here, only this plane. From other plane, you cannot divide it, it into two equal parts, right? So there is a bilateral symmetry. So we will call it zygomorphic. We'll, but as you can see in Solanaceae, you can, any line which is going passing through the center will divide this flower into two equal parts. Draw any line which is passing through the center, it will divide it into two equal parts. So that's why the symbol is there. This means actinomorphic. Actinomorphic represents radial symmetry. Clear? Yes, sir. Any more doubt? No? So what you have to remember? Plural formula. Second, root presentation, economic importance. I have written only those things which is required for you. Don't go with any other information. Other you will leave this, this part. Right. You must be happy. There are just three family with you. Right. Otherwise, you know, in graduation, there are 17 family. In post-graduation, there are 17 family and there are sub-family of every. Right. In PG, I have just gone through uh, with the 35 family. So we have to cram the 35, like we have to make a chart. We used to make a chart and it, it, we used to paste it in front of our table. And then we used to cram it. There is there are 35 family in post version PG, MSc. So you must be happy if you, there are only three family, you have to just cram these three formula. If you are unable to, uh, first you have to understand the basic, whatever I have told you, you have to go through with it again with the help of this PPT. In case if you have any problem over there, then ask to me, right? Then the next thing is that draw the let's write down the this formula make a take a a, a a four sheet and divide a four sheet into three part uh, small small in a small handwriting please write it down the both all three plural formula and this information paste in front of your table where you are studying right that is the best way right for this you know in biology what you need to paste in front of your uh, table the first thing this one Krebs cycle right glycolysis cycle then uh, those C3 cycle, C4 cycle, right? These things, minimum, these things, these things, uh, you need to paste in front of your um, study table. You will get everything. Last but not the least, this is family of Liliaceae. So, uh, Fabaceae means uh, Fabaceae and uh, Solanaceae. Both are the family of dicot plant. Liliaceae is the family of monocot plant, right? Here, sepals and petals are not divided separately, right? You can see this is the flower of lily, right? Here, the sepals and petals are not separated. Here, sepals and petals are, you you like, they are the same, right? Sepal, you can call it sepal, you can call it petal, right? So, this kind of, these kind of the structures are known as, what we call them? What we call them? Periant. right. Periant. okay? And so this is structure is called peria and these are called tepals, tepals, right? So we'll use the term tepals for them. Okay. So perianth, so perianth is the whirl of tepal. Got it? One more. Uh, suppose that this is a flower. Suppose that this is a flower. Okay. This is a flower. In flower, when flower arise uh, from a branch, and at the base of branch, there is a small leaflet. This is called bract. If bract is present at the base of flower, right, then we will call it bracteate flower. And we will use symbol BR, right? And you know, this, this red color structure represent the bract, right? So this is called bracteate, fine? So look, bracteate, actinomorphic, bisexual, perianth 3 plus 3, Androsium 3 plus 3, gynosium 3 gamma ovary superior, right? So look, bracteate, this is the, uh, because bract is there. Actinomorphic, because radial symmetry is there, right? Perianth 3 plus 3. So look, there are 3 plus 3, but they are not gamma, they are not fused. 3 outer world and 3 inner world. This is the flower of lily. <clears throat> you can see, look, 3 in one world and another 3 is below this one and another world, right? So perianth 
three plus three, right? Ganusium three gamma ovary superior. Look, and what is the placentation? Exile placentation. Got it? So placentation is exile. Perianth. When petal sepals cannot be differentiated, we call it perianth. Then fruit, capsule, or berry. What is the economic importance? Ornamental tulip, right? Tulip is ornamental plant. Aloe. Aloe is medicinal plant. Vegetable, asparagus and colchicine, right? They are the vegetable. Tell me. Go through with it and tell me if you have any doubt. And let me know if, if it's clear to both of you, all of you. Clear, sir. Clear? Great. So, this was, uh, we have completed a morphology chapter. And you have to cover this much. Um, okay. So now let me. Let me open the. Uh, syllabus. What we need to do. What is the next in our syllabus? Uh, family, so family, plant family we did. I told you the floral structure as well along with that. And uh, then the next chapter which we need to cover, that is the cell biology and cell cycle, right? So we have to start with the cell biology and cell cycle, then animal and plant classification. These this this much have left just right. So let's start with the cell biology and cell cycle. Cycle and cell division. Okay, cell biology, cell structure. Fine. Look, cell structure is just a factual chapter. There is not much more to understand. Still. Okay. So, uh, need not to tell you that this is the cell and what is what are the organelle are found. Come to the point directly and where you need to focus. Look, everywhere where there is a red, red, red star, it means that part is important for you. Not important, only it's very important for you. So, okay. It is a structural functional unit, right? And in 1965, Robert Hook written a book and the name of the book is micrographia right you have to remember this name of the book robert, robert who was the robert hook who will tell me who was the robert hook huh? what he used to do what he used to teach he discovered cell he, dis <laughs> he discovered cell no 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 he was he, he. so uh, was he microbiologist genetist Animal scientist, botanist, zoologist. Any idea about him? No? 
So look, Robert Hooke have to nothing to do with the biology. Actually, he was not a scientist of the biology. He was physicist. He was the he was working on the microscope actually. So uh, basically, in physics, uh, he was um, working with optics part. Uh, so he was trying to make a compound, strong compound microscope, right? While making the compound microscope, he was um, trying to see different different structure, and uh, suddenly he came, he encountered a cork, cork that that used that is still used uh, at the mouth of the bottle, right? So uh, cork. Uh, he taken out a slice of cork, cork and when he saw with the help of that compound microscope, he came to know there are some vacant structure and named gay. And then he uh, encountered with uh, different, different structures, right? And he named the cell, right? He he saw that there are honeycomb-like structure in every these dead, but he micro, Robert Hooke discovered the, Robert Hooke discovered the dead cells. He did not discover the living cell, right? So first cell which was which was seen by Robert Hooke that was the dead cell, and he written a book Micrographia. In Micrographia he have described this cell, right? He have described this cell. So the name of the book have been asked multiple times, and still it is relevant, right? So you have to remember the Micrographia book was written by Robert Hooke, not the which year. In 1973, right after eight years, in 1973 there was a, a microbiologist. He was a, a scientist of biology. Microbiologist, his name was Antony von Leeuwenhoek. So Antony von Leeuwenhoek was the first person who discovered the living cell. Try to understand if you get the question, don't get confused because easy questions are more dangerous than tougher one. Easy questions are very confusing. Suppose that if they ask who discovered the living cell and you just tick the this one, uh, Robert Hooke, that will be the wrong one. So who discovered the living cell? So Robert Hooke was the person who discovered the cell, but Antony von Leeuwenhoek was the person who first time who saw the living cell and he saw the bacteria, protozoa, RBC, etc. Uh, now, this is the prokaryotic cell. And prokaryotic cell, what you need to understand, whatever it is written in this board that you need to understand. Try to, try to understand. Let me tell you first, right. So, normally, bacteria have three cover. But bacteria may have three cover, may not have three cover, right. Every bacteria have cell wall and plasma membrane, but some of the bacteria have a capsule as well. So outermost covering of bacteria is made up of capsule or slime layer. This is not important. But which make the capsule? So capsule is made up of, I have written over here, capsule is made up of glycocalyx. It's a type of carbohydrate that you need to remember. Capsule is made up of glycocalyx, right? Then outside of the capsule there are these spine like structure or a small hair like structure these are called fem fembrae right so fembrae are a small hair like structure okay now uh, look this fembrae is a small hair like structure cell wall is made up of peptidoglycan peptidoglycan is a combination of protein plus carbohydrate right then uh, there is uh, uh, another layer that is a cell wall Cell wall is made up of peptidoglycan and uh, uh, peptidoglycan is a combination of protein plus carbohydrate. One more very important thing, there are two compounds which are found in the cell wall. Try to understand. If you want to write it down, please write it down. Right. The question I've been asked from here. Look, pep this peptidoglycan have two, um, uh, two compounds. That is NAG and NAM. Right. So what is the NAG? NAG stands for N-acetyl glucosamine. And NAM stands for N acetyl muramic acid. So these are the two compounds which are found in the cell wall, which make the cell wall peptidoglycan cell wall, right? So peptidoglycan is made up of two things. Peptido means protein and glycan means sugar. And there are two sugars, NAG and NAM. NAG and NAM, NAG is N acetyl glucosamine and NAM is N acetyl muramic acid. These both names have been asked. So you have to remember these both of the names. Then come to the third part. Third layer is plasma membrane. Plasma membrane is made up of two things. Everywhere across the world, across the biological world, always plasma membrane is made up of only two layers. Bi layer of lipid and protein. Right? Then there is a cytosol. Cytosol means protoplasm. This is made up of water, mineral, organic substances. Okay? Then come to here. DNA. This is the DNA which is found in bacteria. DNA of bacteria or chromosome, you call it nucleoid region, chromosome or DNA. 
they all are same thing dna is single and circular this dna remains attached with the plasma folding of plasma membrane this folding of plasma membrane is known as mesosome right mesosome work like mitochondria try to understand mesosome work like mitochondria clear because mitochondria is not formed means burning of food is done by mesosome and one more thing genetic material that is the dna of bacteria remains attached with mesosome is it clear or not so so the mri and pili are same uh no no they both are different actually uh, pili pili are the number of pili i have written over here fembrae are numerous and their function is to hold bacteria in any surface suppose that bacteria is on my face so they will help the bacteria to hold on my face so that every time i rub the face bacteria will not come out why because they have hold anchored my skin with the help of fembrae right but pili the number of pili i have written over here number of pili are 1 to 4 the purpose of pili they they help in the sexual reproduction of bacteria clear yes bacteria have the sexual reproduction but that is not in our syllabus so again they have ribosome we know that ribosome are also found in prokaryotic cell but the size of ribosome is smaller than eukaryotic cell it is 70 years they help in protein synthesis again food granules are found and food granules are made up of glycogen they are complex carbohydrate right again the this tail like structure this is called flagella flagella right there is a basal body this is the hook right and uh, flagella always come out of the basal body or blepharoplast right so this was the um, uh, one more thing uh, an extra dna is also found we have discussed a lot about this one in our uh, biotechnology part but still i am uh, again uh, uh, again describing it over here so uh, plasmid is a small circular fragment of dna that is extra dna and we know that what are the part of the plasmid we have studied in detail in biotechnology part uh, they provide the resistant to bacteria against antibiotic and high temperature or some adverse condition go through with this ppt and let me know if you have any doubt but all the information which is written over here is every information is very important for your medical examination right most of them are questions direct questions and you will get direct question from here clear yes sir ana clear samaira yes sir clear yes sir great great so look uh, ribosome are 70s when ribo during the protein synthesis uh, as in single uh, mrna there are number of the ribosome remains attached with they are called polyribosome or polysomes again a very important part what are the gram positive or gram negative bacteria so gram staining means coloring the bacteria was a practice it was a gram a staining was uh, discovered by a uh, scientist his name was christian gram in 1884 right uh, christian gram taken bacteria and uh, he colored bacteria with a dye known as crystal violet or gentian violet the name you need to remember this is weak alkaline dye right this is weak alkaline dye so he colored bacteria with crystal violet or gentian violet right this crystal violet or gentian violet uh, bacteria get blue color right so bacteria gets blue color from here uh, he treated bacteria uh, so uh, again after uh, staining bacteria with the blue color he treated bacteria with 0.5% iodine solution right 0.5% iodine solution when he treated bacteria with the iodine solution and then wash bacteria with the alcohol right alcohol or acetone the wash and after washing if the bacteria retain the color right if bacteria retain the color this is called gram positive bacteria 
and if bacteria loses the color they will be called gram negative bacteria so on the basis of this staining or dye we have divided bacteria into two category gram positive and gram negative is that clear you have to remember the name of the dye and this process as well. clear to all yes sir cell wall look so uh, cell wall so between there between two cell there is a cementing material so suppose that there are two cells which are adhere with each other so between two cells there is a cementing material here. that cementing material material is called calcium pectate right calcium pectate make middle lamella fine okay now what happen that uh, after the calcium pectate after the middle lamella there is a cell wall that is called primary cell wall and after primary cell wall when cell mature it make secondary cell wall right and then there is a plasma membrane so that is a sequence sometime sometime inside the secondary cell wall some material deposit and cell become dead right try to understand what i am saying you can see over here that this pink color structure is primary cell wall then this green color structure is secondary cell wall and then this is plasma membrane right and in middle there is a middle lamina after secondary cell wall uh, so what is the secondary cell wall made up of secondary cell wall is made up of cellulose matrix plus hemicellulose and the same thing uh, constitute the primary cell wall cellulose hemicellulose and matrix right sometime inside the uh, secondary cell wall some material get deposit what are those material they may be lignin suberin or cutin lignin that is permeable to the water so suppose that there is a cell and deposition of lignin taken place inside taken inside the cell wall so it will they will maintain the permeability means it will be permeable for water sometimes suberin or cutin get deposit right when suberin and cutin get deposit the cell wall become unpermeable cell become unpermeable impermeable for water so what is the suberin suberin is a fatty substance uh, it is found in the cork and it make impermeable to the water cutin is also a fatty substance right so look when formation of xylem tissue takes place like xylem fiber tracheid and all that when formation of xylem tissue takes place deposition of lignin and suberin takes place inside and it makes cell impermeable to the water and that's why the cell become dead but cell become stronger got it cell wall is semi transparent it may be 0.1 micrometer to 10 micrometer in thickness it is non living but metabolically active and it grow try to understand it is non living but it is metabolically active and it grow right in plant cell for the in plant cell for the transport of material or exchange of material there are some pores or connections they are called plasmodesma in animal cells cytoplasmic interconnection or junctions are found plasmodesma are not found through which the exchange of material takes place tell me guys is it clear Samara, clear? Yes. Yes. Sir. Great. Plasma membrane. A few thing need to remember over here. Term plasma membrane was given by Nageli and Kramer. I have written these thing because these kind of the question come from this chapter. Right. So the term term plasma membrane was given by Nagelian Kramer. Plasma membrane is also known as plasmolemma. Plasma membrane, bio membrane, cell membrane, right? It was discovered by Schwann. So normally, plasma membrane is made up of everywhere, everywhere, across the biological world. The uh, composition of plasma membrane or the structure of plasma membrane is almost same. it is made up of bilayer of lipid and protein these are the two thing 
which will be found in every plasma and they will constitute plasma. This structure of plasma membrane, how plasma membrane look like, this structure was given by Singer and Nicholson. Singer and Nicholson said that plasma membrane look. Singer and Nicholson said that plasma membrane is, is like fluid mosaic, right? And they given a fluid mosaic model, Singer and Nicholson in 1972, and he got the Nobel Prize for the same, right? What is the structure of plasma status state of plasma membrane that is quasi fluid? Again, look. So this yellow color structure is bilayer of lipid. So this is one layer of lipid. Then this is second layer of lipid. So there are two layer of lipid. So bilayer of lipid. And this lipid here, here I have uh, drawn this structure. This lipid molecule have head and tail. Head part is hydrophilic, uh, hydrophilic, and uh, the tail part is hydrophobic. Right? Means head part is water loving and tail part is water rappelling. So this is made up of bilayer of lipid and there are these blue color structures are known as the channel protein. Channel protein help in transport of the substance. We have remember we have studied aquaporins, ion channels, remember or not in transport of the plant. Yes. So they are the same protein. So these protein which traverse across the plasma membrane they are called integral protein or channel protein. Those protein which remains stuck at outer surface, they are called peripheral protein. Integral protein traverse across the membrane and they make the channel or gateway. One more important thing which you need to remember. The composition of plasma membrane that it is made up of 20 to 79 percent lipid. 20 to 70 percent of protein. 1 to 5 percent carbohydrate and 20 percent of the water. So look, if the plasma membrane belongs to, uh, if the plasma membrane belongs to a higher uh, uh, or well-developed organism like humans, mammals, so the protein content will be more. If plasma membrane belongs to any uh, lower organism, right, then there will be more lipid content, less protein. So this ratio changes, but the composition will always remain the same across the biological. Tell me. Arpit, clear? Yes. So simply what you have to remember, fluid mosaic model was given by Singer Nicholson. Nageli and Kramer coined the term. The percentage and hydrophobic and hydrophilic part of lipid. That's it. Protoplasm. You have to remember only those things which I have underlined. Divided cell into two parts. Cell coat, protoplasm. Cell coat in bacteria, it is made up of glycocalyx and plant cell wall. Right? Cell coat is not found in animal. Right? In protoplasm, it is a living part. Further divided into three parts cytoplasm cell membrane and nucleus again cytoplasm divided into two parts in cytoplasm if you remove the cyto cytoplasm is also known as a cytosol right if you uh, are, uh, if you separate cell structures right cell structures then the content which is left that is called cytosol deutoplasm or hyaloplasm they all are same thing. Try to understand. Deutoplasm and hyaloplasm have been asked. So what is deutoplasm or hyaloplasm? It is cytosol. Right? If you remove all the cell organelle, nucleus, cell membrane and all cell organelle, the gel-like substance which is left behind, that is called cytosol, deutoplasm or hyaloplasm. Clear or not? That is the question. Then what are the cell organelle? Chloroplast, mitochondria, Golgi complex, endoplasmic, lysosome, ribosome, centrosome, and all that. One more thing. So in plant, in plant, cytosol have some granules, and these granules are made up of inorganic crystals, inorganic crystal, fat, carbohydrate, or protein. 
and these crystals are known as cell inclusion two things you have to remember cell inclusion you have to remember what is the cell inclusion and what is the haloplast eutoplast or cytosol tell me guys is it clear or not clear yeah, sir great so why i have shown this chart i want to tell you what is the difference between protoplast cytoplast haloplast or cytosol endoplasmic reticulum most of the scientists considered that endoplasmic reticulum are the folding of nuclear membrane they are they arise from the nuclear membrane okay they may be of two type so they are the folding of of nuclear membrane they have this kind of a structure right and these structure are uh, these structures are uh, uh, they the structure have a space inside them that is called lumen of endoplasmic reticulum right and uh, in some of the endoplasmic reticulum these ribosome remains stuck outside right but it is not necessary that ribosome will be there ribosome may be there may not be there if ribosome is not attached at the outer surface of the endoplasmic reticulum we call them scr or smooth endoplasmic reticulum their function is formation of lipid and steroid hormone right function you need to remember smooth endoplasmic reticulum they form lipid steroid hormone and there are rough endoplasmic reticulum where the ribosome get attached with the outer surface of the endoplasmic reticulum this is called rough endoplasmic reticulum. so r e r have ribosome enzyme and protein the uh, rough endo uh, this uh, endoplasmic reticulum were discovered by porter and thompson scientists you need to remember in cell biology in this chapter right where they are not found that is a question i have seen in, in aims examination right in aims the question have been asked which of the following do not have the uh, uh, endoplasmic reticulum my answer was the egg so endoplasmic reticulum are not found they are not found in egg in mature rbc embryonic cell prokaryotic cell etc these ribosome remains attached with the endoplasmic reticulum with the help of a protein and that is called riboforin 1 and riboforin 2 so you need to remember that these and these uh, ribosomes remains attached with the endoplasmic reticulum with the help of riboforin protein rough endoplasmic reticulum they form enzyme they form enzyme they form precursor of lysosome plus golgi complex right that is formed by rough endoplasmic reticulum smooth endoplasmic reticulum they synthesize the fat in adipose tissue glycogen in liver cell and synthesis of steroid hormone that is done by that is the function of smooth endoplasmic reticulum right sarcoplasmic reticulum are a type of endoplasmic reticulum we have studied and they are responsible for calcium storage and we have seen this in sliding filament theory sarcoplasmic reticulum right so uh, that's it so this was all about the endoplasmic reticulum go through with it and tell me if you have any doubt Any doubt? No, no, sir. So, Golgi complex. Golgi complex are also known as the Dalton complex, right? Golgi complex or Dalton complex. so uh, they were discovered by a scientist known as camelio golgi so after his name of um, uh, these these are called golgi complex so golgi complex are also known as the dalton complex right uh, one more important thing that this is the only organelle 
which have the polar which is polarized means which have two faces the um, the the face which is toward the nucleus is known as cis face right and it will the cis face will always be toward the nucleus right and the face which is toward the cell membrane is called trans phase right trans phase is called formation phase okay golgi complex have these kind of these these kind of structures so there is a lumen and it is closed structure these structure are called cistern right and uh, these the spherical structure are known as the vesicle secretory vesicle the function of golgi complex is packaging of protein what it do it take it take the protein from the from where it take the protein from uh, that part from a rough endoplasmic reticulum and after taking the protein from rough endoplasmic reticulum it process this protein right and after processing inside the lumen i it process uh, the protein is transferred from here to here to here to here then here when it will reach to the trans phase it will make a small vesicle and send it outside so the main function is packaging of protein now after pack the protein into vesicle and send it outside so there are three kind of the vesicle which are formed formed in the golgi complex what are those vesicles there are three type a category these some of the vesicle remains filled with the protein and this protein fuses with plasma membrane right when this fuses with the plasma membrane it help in the formation of new plasma membrane right the process of formation of plasma membrane is called biosynthesis so biosynthesis what is biosynthesis formation of of plasma membrane so formation of plasma membrane is called biosynthesis right so there are two kind of the um, organelle that uh, in biosynthesis uh, protein is required and lipid is required in biosynthesis protein is supplied by the golgi complex right and lipid is supplied by smooth endoplasm right so first category of the vesicle they help in the formation of plasma second category of vesicle do go, they goes out and they make the cell uh, so sorry they make the enzyme sorry they form the enzyme third category of vesicle they remain inside the protoplasm and they form the lysosome right so there are three kind of the vesicle first fuse with the plasma membrane second form enzyme and third form lysosome right so these are the function of golgi complex kemelio golgi discovered them nerve cell uh, this is the question this question i have been asked it's very important question i have seen this question where the golgi complex were discovered golgi complex were discovered in the nerve cell of bran owl and cat where it has been discovered where they are not found except sieve tube of plant and sperm of bryophyte and pteridophyte this from this question have been asked sperm of bryophyte and pteridophyte right and rbc of human they are found everywhere they are not found these creatures they are uh, so uh, what are the dictyosome what are the dictyosome no idea plant do not have golgi complex this is not a correct statement plant have the golgi complex but we we do not call them golgi complex so golgi complex like structures are found in the plant we call them dictyosome they are not arranged like golgi complex they are found like these kind of the vesicles these kind of the vesicles so this is the structure of dictyosome so dictyosome perform the function of golgi complex in the plant right and uh, these may be made up of 3 to 20 cistern right in place of golgi complex dictyosome are found in the plant go through with it and tell me if you have any doubt
Is that clear, Arpit? Yes, sir. Marita, is it clear? Yes, sir. Okay. Great. <clears throat> Lysosome. From every part, question is there. Like they are called suicide bag. Why? Because they have a strong hydrolytic enzyme for digestion purpose. But if they burst accidentally, they will digest the whole proto protoplasm and cell will die. That's why they are called suicide bag. 50 different type of enzyme have been discovered from this lysosome. Right? At the surface, they have, how does they maintain a strong acidity? Right? High P, uh, low pH value. Right? How does they maintain? They have basically the hydrogen channel on their surface, and this hydrogen channel keep on pumping hydrogen. Right, that's why they make a strong acidic environment inside. Right, uh, they have the single membrane. They have a strong hydrolytic enzyme. These are the digestive enzyme. Some proteins are present, and uh, they are called a scavenger of cell. Why? Because they they eat old and dead cell organelle. Suppose that mitochondria got dead. Then they will eat and digest it, right? They will eat and dead, eat and uh, eat dead and uh, decaying organism, uh, organelle and clean the cell. That's why they are called scavenger of cell. Christian Dudue discovered them. So who discovered them? Christian Dudue discovered it, right? The pH value remains four to four, four to five. All the animal cells they have, they are found in all the animal cells except RBC. Plant, fungi, the function of, try to understand, the function of uh, lysosome is taken away by the vacuole in plant and fungi. Tell me, please. Clear or not? Clear, yes, sir. Great. One more thing. Suppose that this is amoeba. They help in the digestion. Suppose that this is amoeba, right? Amoeba have eaten any uh, carbon particle through uh, phagocytosis. Phagocytosis, then formation of temporary food vacuole taken place. This is lysosome. Lysosome will fu fuse with this, with this uh, food vacuole. And this is called primary food vacuole. For the now, it will be called secondary food vacuole or secondary lysosome, right? These are called secondary lysosome. Lysosome will digest it and uh, the uh, undigested part is excreted out, right? So these are called primary lysosome, right? Before fusion, they are called primary lysosome. When they fuses with the food vacuole, they are called secondary lysosome, right? And uh, they causes the necrosis or tissue death, right? Vacuoles. And I have told you already that the function of the lysosome is taken away by the vacuole in the plant. In the plant, the largest organelle is vacuole, while in animal, the largest organelle is nucleus. It is found in the mature plant. So, this is nucleus. So, what when vacuole uh, increase its size, they push protoplasm and nucleus at the peripheral part, right? So, here the protoplasm is peripheral. Right, nucleus is peripheral, right, and uh, there is a large vacuole. This vacuole, the out the surface of vacuole or the membrane of vacuole is known as tonoplast. So, uh, everywhere in every organelle, there is a no different name uh, of membrane. We call it outer membrane, inner membrane, or single membrane. So, but the name uh, here, the membrane of um, vacuole have a different name that is called tonoplast, right. So, tonoplast is selectively permeable membrane, right? And uh, it stores the pigment like anthocyanin. That is a question. It's very important. It is stores a pigment like anthocyanin. And uh, in animal, these vacuoles are not found. Contractile vacuoles are found, like in amoeba and paramecium. So, these contractile vacuoles, they help in the excretion of uh, extra or excess water, right?
hope it should be clear to you. It is stored water, pigment, mineral, yes, and sir. they maintain the shape of the cell. Mitochondria. We have discussed it a lot in uh, our uh, respiration part, but still, again, I want to tell you something. You know how the formation of energy, ATP, and all that takes place. But still, uh, let me revise you. So, mitochondria have its own DNA. That is called mitochondrial DNA. This is semi-autonomous. Means it can divide itself. It is circular DNA. It resembles with the bacterial DNA. And uh, function of mitochondria, formation of ATP, you know. It have outer and inner membrane. Mitochondria also have the ribosome. They are 70S in size, like bacterial ribosome. Krebs cycle goes in the matrix of mitochondria. This blue color structure is called matrix of mitochondria. Right? Then these, uh, these folding of mitochondria are known as the Christi. At the surface of Christi, there are these structures, they are called oxysome. Try to understand. One very important thing, and this question have been I have seen in every exam. Right. Which enzyme of the Krebs cycle? I have told this question, by the way, uh, where when I was teaching you uh, the Krebs cycle, then I taught you. Uh, every enzyme which is required in the Krebs cycle is found in the mitochondria matrix, except one. The name of that enzyme is succinic dehydrogenase. Succinic dehydrogenase, Krebs cycle or TCA cycle enzyme, this is the only enzyme required in the TCA cycle or Krebs cycle, succinic dehydrogenase. It is not found in the matrix. It is imported from the where? Protoplasm, cytoplasm. Right? So burning of food takes place in Krebs cycle. This enzyme is not found in the matrix. Then these folding, these Christi, they have this racket-like or lollipop-like structure called oxysome. This is the structure of oxysome. Oxysome base is made up of F0. It is made up of F0 particle. Head is made up of F1 particle. What is F1 particle or head? Head have the ATP synthase enzyme, right? In the head part, formation of ATP takes place from ADP and Formation of ATP or ATP synthesis is known as oxidative phosphorylation, right? So in the nut cell, oxysomes are responsible for oxidative phosphorylation, right? Tell me. Is that clear? That is yes, a diameter. Sir. This is the diameter. It was observed by Kolliker and the mitochondria was given by C. Benda. Uh, this is old question. Uh, in the previous question paper, you will found, uh, but nowadays they are not that much relevant. But you have to keep it in mind. Anytime this can be asked from the cell biology, they ask who discovered, who quite determined all that. This kind of question. After mitochondria plastid, here something is important for you. They are also semi-autonomous, means they can divide and make. Euglena is called connecting link between plant and animal because euglena is the only animal cell which have the chloroplast and which can make its own food. It is the only animal uh, cell on the earth. Now, plastids are basically of three types. What are those plastids? First, chlor chromoplast, which give color to the fruit and flower. Second, chloroplast which are responsible for photosynthesis. Third, leucoplast, which store the food. Right? Further, the leucoplast can be of following type. What type? A, elioplast. They are precursor of chlorophyll. Amyloplast, they store the starch and sugar. So if, try to understand, if leucoplast store the starch, or sugar, we will call it amyloplast. If leucoplast will store the oil or lipid, it is called elioplast. If leucoplast store the enzyme, this is called protein, protein uh, uh, proteinoplast, right? Chili is green, and when it turned red, even this question I've been asked. Chili is green, and when it turned red, what happens with that? What changes takes place? When the chili is green, then 
it have the chlorophyll when it will turn red or it will mature or get ripen and become turned red uh, so the chlorophyll convert into lycopene lycopene is a compound or pigment which gives red color to the chili and tomato tell me is it clear or not amyloplast elaioplast proteinoplast etioplast they all have been asked all lycopene have been asked multiple times it is also an old question clear sir the the term plastid was given by arnest hackel they are semi autonomous formation of plastid takes place from proplastid leucoplast have grana and photosynthetic substance are absent in leucoplast grana and photosynthetic substance are not found chloroplast of the algae so in brown and red algae the chloroplast are not found like this this way they we call them chromatophores so they have this kind of the structure which are called chromatophores so chromatophores are a type of chloroplast right they are precursor of you can say they are the precursor of chloroplast or in the in the older cell chromatophores are just meant for photosynthesis and uh, uh, in place of uh, chloroplast they perform the function in algae shape of chloroplast cup shaped in chlamydomonas algae ribbon shape in spirogyra uh, satellite shape in zygnemia reticulate shape in odogonium and plate like in eulothrix these are the different shape of the micro uh, shape of the chloroplast which are found in different algae so do we have to study the shape of chloroplast uh, the shape you need to remember because i have seen question and uh, algae is not uh, that have not been made, uh, discussed or described in your uh, ncert in that much but these question i have seen so remember the shape of the chloroplast in algae they all are green algae eulothrix oidogonia zygnemia spirogyra and clavado they all are the green algae Shape you need to remember. Yes, sir. Chloroplast structure again in photosynthesis we have discussed in detail. So I don't think so that uh, I need to discuss over here anything. Pyrenoids we know they are found in algae and they are found within the chloroplast and they store the food. Grana, there are maybe forty to sixty grana in a chloroplast. uh chloroplast also have single circular semi autonomous dna or clpt dna it is made up of thylakoids and a single uh, a single grana may have uh, 2 to 100 thylakoids and it is filled with the chlorophyll which is a magnesium compound and uh, that's it we know that the structure so ribosome ribosomes are made up of two subunits the smaller and larger subunit both subunit remains attached with both subunit remains attached with a magnesium bridge first question very important this is very very important part the first question only the question i been asked from there magnesium bridge so chloro uh, both of the um, both of the subunit remains attached with the magnesium bridge now i have seen the question what should be at what level uh, this uh, mag this uh, both of the subunit will dissociate so when the uh, when the uh, concentration of the magnesium will be 0.0001 uh, mole Uh, then what will happen at this level? The uh, magnesium, uh, uh, th this uh, both of the unit will dissociate, right? So we require more than this concentration of the magnesium. So if magnesium level will go down, 
then the ribosome unit will dissociate and no protein formation will take place. They are the organelles which do not have any membrane. Assembly takes place in cytoplasm and formation takes place in nucleolus, right? So formation of ribosome takes place in nucleolus inside the nucleus. Robinson and Brown discovered in plant and Pallade discovered in animal. That's why they are also called Pallade particle, right? So Robinson and Brown discovered in plant and Pallade discovered in animal. The ribosome remains attached with the endoplasmic reticulum with the help of protein riboforin protein. Look, this is the nucleus and this is the nucleolus. So nucleolus is called factory of ribosome. Why? Because both of the subunit are formed in the nucleolus. The both of the unit come out of uh, the nucleus from the nuclear plus nuclear pore and they associate. S stands for Swedberg. Swedberg is a sedimentation coefficient or uh, in centrifugation. This the size of the ribosome was discovered by Swedberg. Hence, after him, we have given the name Swedberg. Ribosomes are found in both prokaryote and eukaryote. In prokaryote, the size of ribosome is 70s and eukaryote, it is 80s. Further, 70s, they have a small subunit of 30s and large subunit of 50s. In eukaryote, the small subunit will be of 50s and large subunit will be of 60s. Ribosomes are made up of protein plus rRNA. Protein is positive and rRNA is negative. Clear? Yes, sir. Uh, cytoskeleton. So, cytoskeleton is some internal structures which maintain the shape of the cell. For example, this is a room, right? In this room, there are bricks, right? Inside the bricks, there are some steel rods, and then on the floor, there are some steel rods. So, these are the endoskeleton. They hold this this complete, and there are some frame in the window, right? Frame in the door. So, these are internal structure. We will call them endoskeleton of our room. In the same way. Cell also have these kind of the structure, which maintain the shape of the cell, right? So in endoskeleton, there are microfilament. These microfilament are made up of tuberin protein, microtubules. So these microtubules are unbranched hollow structure. They are made up of tumulin protein. They make the cilia, they make the cilia, flagella or sens sensory hair. They may be 15 to 25 millimeter in diameter. Some actin filaments are also formed. Actin, we know that is actin is a proteinaceous protein, proteinaceous filament, and it is found in plant and animal food, right? And there are some microfilament. These microfilament they are also made up of tubulin protein, and they maintain the shape of. So these endoskeleton include microfilament, microtubule, and actin filament. Function just maintaining the shape of the cell. Clear? Yes, sir. Cilia and flagella, look. Cilia and flagella both have similar structure. The only difference in any cell, the number of flagella can be one to four, and number of cilia may be. Thousands, numerous, we don't have any count. So, flagella is a la longer one. So, flagella may be of 100 to 200 micrometer in length, but, but there will be only one to four flagella. Cilia may be 5 to 20 micrometer in length, but they are numerous. They are also found in our windpipe trachea. We have discussed that. Uh, all the cilia and flagella they originate from a root. And that root is called basal body or kinotosome, right? They are also known as the biliferoplast. They all are the same thing. Either you call it basal body, kinetosome, or biliferoplast. ATP breakdown, and that's how they perform the function. They help in the movement. 
the structure of cilia and flagella is like this way arrangement is like this way in the center there will be thread that is called axonemy it is made up of microtubule central so they are central there will be two axonemy right and they are made, sorry axonemy that is made up of two microtubules right and in peripheral region there are double double structure and they will be nine so at the center there is two and at uh, periphery there are so this is the arrangement is called nine plus two arrangement right nine peripheral and these nine are doublet but in center there are two uh, microtubules are found so arrangement in cilia and flagella is nine plus two that you need to remember clear and we know cilia and flagella both are meant for the movement is that clear so could you please repeat the structure once again? yeah sure look this is this is uh the outer structure is covered by plasma membrane inside it there are peripheral doublet microtubule doublet and they are nine in number so nine microtubule doublet are found means doublet means two 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 microtubules they are fused right so nine doublet at peripheral at center center structure this central structure this structure the central structure is known as central microtubule axonemy right so there are two central star two microtubule at the center so we call this arrangement 9 plus 2 arrangement 9 peripheral doublet and at center there are two microtubule so we call it 9 plus 2 arrangement of microtubule is found in cilia and flagella is that clear yes sir centrosome it is important we we will require it uh, in the cell division you will need it so centrosomes these are centrosomes centrosome is found so uh, centrosome is made up of uh, a small small pipeline they are called microtubule right so they are centrioles so they are made up of microtubule and there are triplet try to understand Three set of three microtubule, right? So these triplet, there are nine triplet. So nine triplet are found. These nine triplet make a uh, centriole, right? So this pink color structure, single pink color structure, is known as centriole. Two centrioles are found. Two centriole are found at the angle of 90 degree. You can see this angle. This angle is of 90 degree. So two centriole are found at the angle of 90 degree. And the make structure called centrosome. So we say that in centrosome, the arrangement of microtubule is nine plus zero. Clear or not? Is that clear? Yes, sir. In flagella, nine plus two arrangement, and these nine are doublet, and two are separate. In centrosome, nine plus zero arrangement, these nine are triplet. Right. What is the function of centriole? centriole both centriole get separate during the cell division both centriole get separate and these centrosome uh, the, sorry this centrosome have centriole these get separate and they reach it at the opposite pole from opposite pole formation of spindle fiber take place and these spindle fiber pull back the chromosome right so they help in the uh, separation of chromosome during cell division Tell me, is it clear or not? Clear? Yes. Okay. Nucleus. This is the nucleus. Very important. Nucleus was discovered by Robert Brown in orchid root. Where it has been discovered, that is the question. Orchid root. 
so nucleus was discovered in arcade root and was discovered by robert brown normally cell have one nucleus if it have two nucleus we call it dikaryotic cell if more than two nucleus we call it multinucleate right and multinucleate condition is also known as xenocytic condition right if a cell have more than two nucleus this is multinucleate situation and multinucleate situation is called xenocytic right uh this is nucleus nucleus have double membrane so this double membrane structure is called nuclear envelope right there are two nuclear membrane and this is called nuclear envelope and uh, between two membrane there is a space called perinuclear space they have messenger rna chromatin fiber is found chromatin fiber there are chromatin threads this chromatin fiber during the cell division it condenses and after the condensation formation of chromosome takes place chromosome is this kind of the structure there is a centromere and this chromatid arms this chromatid arms have uh, is made up of two thing dna and histone protein right and uh, there is a nucleolus this structure is called nucleolus nucleolus uh, there may be one to four nucleolus in a cell right there may be one to four nucleolus in a cell and uh, these nucleolus are called factory of ribosome we know that we have uh, uh, already underst understood uh, that, that that we have discussed that and uh, ribosome is formed over here they come out after the formation and uh, they are assembled in the protoplasm composition of nucleus there may be 9 to 12% of dna 5% of rna 3% lipid basic protein is 15% that is histone and uh, acidic protein is 65% that you need to remember acidic and basic protein right nucleus is found in the peripheral part in the uh, plant cell in animal cell there are some cells called adipose cells adipocyte cells they are found in adipose they form the adipose tissue so adipocyte cell store the fat and due to storage of the fat the nucleus reaches at the extreme point and protoplasm become peripheral and this structure is called signet ring structure remember adipocyte cells have the signet ring state structure clear or not nuclear envelope have perinuclear space that is 100 to 500 ang angstrom thick chromatin fiber may be of two type u chromatin and heterochromatin u chromatin is 10 to 30 nanometer thick heterochromatin is 100 to 100 nanometer thick right u chromatin is lightly uh, stained structure and heterochromatin is darkly stained structure when it is stained with a dye nucleolus was discovered by fontana in 1781 there may be one to four nucleolus in a cell in a nucleus uh calcium this is very important question calcium ion maintain the shape of nucleolus if calcium level decreases the shape of nucleolus become d shape right and uh, nucleolus is responsible for formation of rna mrna trna rrna and ribosome now okay. is that clear or not ask me if you have any question Are we clear? Which chromatin is uh, transcriptionally active? Actually, uh, chromatin uh, uh, chromatin fiber uh, further unwind, right? When chromatin fiber unwind and histone protein get separate, then uh, transcription is started. Got it? Uh, so in the chapter. Uh... In the molecular basis of inheritance, they have said that either a heterochromatin or euchromatin is transcriptionally active. Look, actually, what happened that uh, this chromatin fiber are not transcriptionally active, right? Wherever the transcription have to start, local unwinding of DNA. I have discussed that in uh, molecular genetics part. What happened? Local unwinding of DNA takes place, right? Means chromatin have to 
अनवाइंड राइट एंड वेन क्रोमेटिन विल अनवाइंड सो बेसिकली दिस इज दू क्रोमेटिन राइट दिस विल अनवाइंड बिकॉज इट इज थीन एन वन राइट and when it will unwind the histone will get separated and naked dna will be there then formation transcription will take place and again when the trans rna will come out then again it will rewind that is actually process okay sir euchromatin is more active than heterochromatin okay sir got it any more question types of chromosome on the basis of uh, this uh, centromere we have divided the chromosome in this is metacentric if centromere is in the mid if it is shifted upside this is submetacentric if it is at the top part extreme part this is acrocentric and telocentric it another arm is disappeared right it is extreme end this is called telocentric so there can be four kind of the Uh, chromosome on the basis of centromere presence of centromere or location of centromere metacentric submetacentric acrocentric or telocentric tell me clear yes sir one last thing that i want to look paroxysm so paroxysm uh, they are not in your syllabus but uh, the question have asked from here uh, paroxysm again like uh, lysosome they are made up of unit membrane single membrane uh, inside them there are oxidative enzyme example of oxidative enzyme it urate oxidase the amino oxidase alpha hydroxy acid oxidase why i have written because all these three have been asked in your medical exam that's why i have written over here with the red right so uh, don't ignore it urate oxidase the amino oxidase alpha hydroxy acid oxidase these enzymes are found they are found in plant animal both in animals in our body they are found in liver and kidney why because they are function in detoxification right they help in detoxification right uh they are Uh, in in photosynthetic cell there may they may be eighty to hundred and uh, they require more oxygen is required for them right uh, they metabolize nitrate phenol formic acid and all that right so and uh, they also metabolize the xenobiotic so these thing you have to remember these the example of oxidative enzyme and uh, they meta what they metabolize right and xenobiotics. xenobiotic have been asked xenobiotics are like lk so they metabolize xenobiotic nitrate phenol formic acid right and their function is detoxification glyoxysomes are also uh, same kind of the structure like lysosomes they have unit membrane and they have enzyme that is the beta oxidation of fatty acid right and basically their uh, function is to oxidize the fat and they are it is considered they are special kind of the paroxysomes uh they are found in the germinating seeds where they metabolize the fat and after they are after they complete their function they again changes to paroxysome did you got it or not both are important paroxysome and glyoxysome are not in your ncert but they are important Question I've been asked. I have told you this question again, right? Okay. So that's it for the day. Yes. And that's it for this chapter. See you in next class. We'll start from the cell cycle, and then we will go for the classification, right? Bye bye. Take care. So tomorrow we have a class. Tomorrow, yeah. I think tomorrow there should be a class. Just wait. So tomorrow is a test, right? And schedule. Uh, it should be class tomorrow. So there will be class, and uh, then we will do the plant classification. Most probably, we will complete the plant classification. Animal classification more than seventy percent we have done already. So tomorrow is Friday. Yes, sir. I'll discuss like 